The Germans harnessed for a long time, but the result was worth it. The most sophisticated pickup truck at that time did not disappoint. We figure out how Emirate will show itself by changing one or two owners. A car that has, in fact, no background, cannot claim the laurels of the best in the class. We used to think so too. But it turned out that it could. The Wolf car, this is how this name is translated, made a dizzying career. Not in the sense that it sold in millions of copies, not many people can afford such a car, but in terms of reliability. In the childhood pickup did not suffer from either measles or scarlet fever. In a word, he was born almost healthy. This is the almost we will talk about today. We are far from thinking that the Amarok is the perfect pickup truck. No, there are trucks and SUVs more practical. But our pickup truck came close to the concept of ideal universal car. Dear, who can argue? But where did you see cheap Germans? In a word, he collected the advantages of technology from completely different classes. For Amarok, a 2.0 liter turbo diesel with a capacity of 140 and 163 horsepower was offered, and later 180 horses. The motor is reliable and, as it turned out, unpretentious, a diesel particulate filter was not even installed on it. If something happens, he will not disdain diesel fuel even from a clearly bad gas station. However, it is not worth letting such fuel go by itself, detergents and fuel modifying additives will always come in handy. Of the problems with cars manufactured in 2010, one can single out the depressurization of fuel lines that run without proper fasteners directly above the engine. Diesel fuel often smelled from under the hood. However, by 2011, the problem had become obsolete. And another bad luck, the owners of the pickup unequivocally recognized the cracking and also leaking fuel filter. Replacing a penny part is inexpensive, but you will have to spend a lot of time. So, in fact, it remains to carefully monitor the timing belt so that it does not accidentally break off on the go. Well sealed or modified belt covers came later, and before that, off-road dirt flying under the hood could easily provoke a premature break. Often, but not always, a broken belt leads to a meeting of valves with pistons and, as a result, to the subsequent repair of the engine. So a preventive replacement of the belt is required at a stage of 70 to 80,000 kilometers. For those who often climb off-road, it is recommended to change the belt even more often, once every 60,000 kilometers. The Volkswagen Emirate can have three types of drive, rear, plug-in full-four motion and permanent full-four motion. The most effective for off-road, of course, remains the last option, which is equipped with a rear differential lock. The system did not cause any particular complaints. The weak points in the transmission were rather the dual mass flywheel, clutch, slave cylinder and release bearing. Up to 30% of Amarok suffered from this, especially the same 2010 release. As for the gearbox, the Amarok is available with both manual and automatic transmissions. ZF boxes had isolated cases of fuzzy switching and severe frosts. But there is no chronic crime behind the transmission, again. More often, the power steering pump died after abundant mud baths. However, these losses are more typical for cars of the first years of production. It is also difficult to catch the suspension on some weaknesses. She walks around the city without limit. Someone changes wheel bearings every 30,000 km. And others drive a factory pair up to 200,000, and at least something. Yes, fractures in the springs, there could be three or five, depending on the version, happen from overload. But this was not included in the system, and the issue is being resolved relatively inexpensively. But practically everyone springs creak, especially after a dusty grater. Apart from washing, the problem cannot be solved. The current owners of the pickup truck have no body problems so far, Papa. If you do not include cases of leakage of door seals on the first machines. Here the optics are not hermetic, the lamps often burn out from moisture accumulated in the headlights. There are minor electrical problems in the cabin. For example, with failures of the right power windows. Rather, troubles in electronic computer brains are to blame here. Having traveled with an error for some time, many noticed that the problem went away by itself. Avoid lifted versions, drives and CV joints fly three times faster than usual. In a word, you won't make many problems with the Amarok if the pickup truck hasn't been driven under a pallet of bricks off-road before every day. It is possible and necessary to buy a car, it has long become a rule of good tone and taste. The best option with a 180 horsepower diesel engine and automatic. With them, the car is much more confident rushing under load. But you can also consider less powerful specimens, they are driven on asphalt where it is decent. Occasionally, especially at low temperatures, there are problems with gear shifting. On some machines, the gears turn off spontaneously, and then you have to change the box. Moreover, 
Such problems arise regardless of the mileage. There is a destruction of the gear selection mechanism or its plastic housing. However, not all boxes are ugly in this way. Occasionally, a crack was diagnosed in the pipe that goes from the turbine to the inner cooler. Frequent use of Euro 2 fuel will quickly finish off the fuel system, the fuel pump dies, clogging the entire system with small chips. Replacing fuel equipment will seriously hit the bank account. Isolated cases, the ingress of coolant into the cylinder, which entails the replacement of the cylinder head. Without critical loads, you don't think about suspension repairs before the 100,000th milestone. Rear springs cost from 6,000 to 15,000 Ukrainian hryvni. Many, by the way, are switching to tuning 4-leaf, more versatile springs. Front shock absorber, from 1,000 to 3,500 Ukrainian hryvni. And the thrust of the stabilizer will cost 800 Ukrainian hryvni. However, with a ton of cargo off-road and at high speed, problems will arise very quickly. On the forums you can find very different, radically opposite reviews about the quality of the paintwork. Basically everything is fine. However, there are those who believe that in Argentina, the plant categorically does not comply with the painting technology. Until there is no primer. Often you can find complaints about water leaks into the cabin through door seals, as well as the loss of external decorative overlays when passing water obstacles. Volkswagen electrical equipment is traditionally complex. In addition to the periodic appearance of unknown errors on the forums, they talk about EGR sensor failures, often blown fuses for the windshield washer and windshield wiper, weak seat heating filaments, and, of course, power window failures. Especially on the right side.